What's up guys, Trevon coming at you with another video and today we're going to be looking at the Watch OS Beta 4 So Watch OS 4 Beta 1, yes that's correct So guys, if you're um, waiting on a jailbreak video, you, you, you just be patient It's coming tomorrow or later today We'll be looking at something from the June's iPhone repo which is very interesting But yes guys, watch out for that video But without any further ado guys, we're going to look at some brand new features in Watch OS 4 and there's a lot of new features apple added like over 100 new features but these are the top 10 like the most pronounced features that are just out in your face and you didn't have to really dig deep to find them if you just use your watch day to day you realize these new features so some of them are small and some of them are huge features so yeah without any further ado let's check them out so as you can see right here straight off the bat i realized the passcode lock screen looks much cleaner in my opinion it has a smoother animation when tapping onto the icons and it also plays this nice tick sound when you press each icon number and it also has this bright red backspace button that adds to the overall style as well and also siri in watch os is more intelligent now so the new siri watch face for your apple watch is there it could automatically show you relevant information based on the time of the day so that's what siri is trying to do with the new watch face so for example at the end of the day you might get a card showing the sunset we we'll also get a new kaleidoscope watch face that brings a cool visual animation whilst you turn the digital crown. You can also make your own patterns with your own photos for a more personal touch. So that's very cool as well. And then one thing that we're anticipating when it comes on to watch face is the new Toy Story characters. So they will be added in beta 2. I think it's kind of cool because it actually animates and you can see them running onto the watch face and all of that. So yeah, it will be available in the next beta release. We can't forget the app switcher. The new app switcher is a welcome feature and addition to the changes. So how does this work? So once you swipe from the left, you could close apps. It feels more natural in my opinion. It feels like on the iPhone. And you can also use the digital crown to swipe through or scroll through your open apps if you please. I'd rather using the um, digital crown to slide through the apps because it's way more smoother that way in my opinion. Apple also changed the UI of the workout application. So the workout application was one of the most focus things that I've spoke about when it come on to watch OS and when I said the workout application I wouldn't be able to show you guys this because I have the series 1 version so one of the major ones was the pool swim feature so it automatically tracks the reps you take around the pool and when you stop it pauses as well and it also even goes straight down to the types of strokes you used so that's very very good I love Apple for doing that that's really cool in my opinion and the whole workout application is just revamped new icons new patterns and new stuff you could do so for example you could pause one workout continue from another workout a lot of new things you could do with the workout application that you could never ever do before in previous version of watchOS the music app so the music app also took some lot of refreshments the new music app will automatically sync songs and playlists and more than one playlist as well you can also pick a playlist that will automatically play once you start working out so what apple is moving towards here they're moving towards making the watch more independent as you can see so they're trying to make this watch something that you could leave your phone at home and take out on a run and you'll have no issues you won't be thinking about oh man suppose it doesn't work apple is just trying to concrete all of these new features for the watch to be very independent so if you swipe up in the control center guys you can also find a new button for a flashlight and this is very cool so this flashlight once you swipe to the left you can have options for a white light it's just a bright white light if you swipe across again you get this bright white light as well but it's also flashing so it's a flashing strobe this could be used for example you're running in the night you're running in the mornings you're going on a bike ride you're going on a bicycle ride you're going on a skateboard you just put this on especially in the night or early mornings when it's kind of dark out also the red one i'm not sure what the red one for maybe it's to scare ghosts i'm not sure but yeah we have a red light as well so guys if you're very productive and you love to use the mail app i do not love to use the mail app but if you guys do you're up for a treat because there are new improvements for it you can get new swiping gestures and options for quick compose so if you swipe across each um you swipe across the screen you could get a delete option you could get a flagged swipe across again you could unflag it and if you force touch on the display you could quickly compose a message so a bunch of new gestures for the mail app it is very well welcomed 
So if you go onto your iPhone, you realize that the official App Store has been revamped. New fonts, new style, new theme. The same thing has happened to the Apple Watch App Store. It's very, very much simplified. It looks very good in my opinion. Apple redesigned it like just like iOS 11. So you can expect a similar change in watchOS 4 when searching for apps via the Apple Watch App Store. If that makes sense so basically the Apple Watch App Store looks so much similar to the original App Store that you find on your iPhone it's easier to find apps in my opinion and everything just looks cleaner you get a cleaner look of how the app will look how it will work and yeah the new App Store for the watch is very very good last but not least guys there's a new improved heart rate indicator i don't know why i choose this for last but i thought it was like one of the coolest things so the apple watch is a great way to monitor your heart rate if you didn't know so whether you're still at rest or you're in the middle of a workout for the first time watch os 4 will display your heart rate over time as a graph instead of just live numbers so you could see a graph showing i'm i'm someone who loves statistics guys that's why i really love this feature because you could see you could see the patterns and all of that of your heart rate so yeah guys although that wraps up things for this video of watch os 4 features i'm sure many other hidden features will show up between now and then like the public release that will come out in fall but these were some of the most pronounced features i found in watchOS 4 guys and if you enjoyed the video drop a huge like down below subscribe if you're new i also created similar videos for ios 11 so be sure to check those out in the description and always guys love peace and tweaks signing out